and Neil Vazirani's letter to Alexander Acosta, Secretary of Labor, on July 19, 2017, regarding the fiduciary rule for complex proprietary fixed indexed annuities, reads, Honorable Secretary Acosta, let me shed light on this new episode of American Greed that will emphasize the need for the fiduciary rule to eliminate the sale of complex proprietary FIAs, or fixed indexed annuities, that use sales and marketing techniques that resemble a security, but fly under the radar without registering as a security. Per Anil, the whole scheme is built upon a limited distribution model that promises commissions, bonuses, and large protected profits to IMOs that are part of this limited distribution of complex proprietary FIAs, products that could be potentially deemed as unregistered securities. So not only are there hints of securities violation based on the sketchy sales and marketing, but also encouraging non-securities licensed individuals to break securities law by providing investment advice without an investment license and to commit so source of funds violations. I ask the question, what is at the heart of the fiduciary rule? My understanding is that there, you are to put the interests of the client ahead of your own and to make no misleading statements or omissions of the facts. It is my understanding, if it is correct, then how can a limited distribution model for complex proprietary fixed index annuities exist? Limited distribution undermines the very spirit of the rule due to the fact that if an agent who is properly licensed cannot get access to all the available products, how can the agent do the proper due diligence to make a recommendation that is in his or her client's best interest? The insurance industry, for the most part, has turned a blind eye to this problem, allowing certain IMOs and designers of complex proprietary fixed indexed annuities and certain insurance carriers that offer them to perpetuate these acts of blind faith. Furthermore, if an agent is only insurance licensed, how can they offer complex proprietary fixed indexed annuities that rely on hypothetical performance of exotic indices without violating the spirit of the rule involving misleading statements and omissions of facts? In order for the average consumer to understand what they are purchasing, the fixed indexed annuity should be based on strong guarantees for lifetime income and death benefit provisions and should be explained in a clear and concise manner. There are excellent annuities offered by quality insurance carriers that I work with who provide these strong guarantees, clear and concise consumer disclosures, and act in good faith. In a recent article, Senator Warren warned about the true motivations of an IMO in regards to annuity sales. I can tell you for a fact, based on information in my possession, how certain IMOs like Advisors Excel and Creative One, or CMIC, fit Senator Warren's description. Just like the tobacco executives who for years misled the American public and health regulators that nicotine is not addictive, we have a situation where these complex proprietary FIAs are being touted as fixed indexed annuities, but they walk, talk, and behave as securities. Upon further review and research, I believe and hope that the DOL and the SEC will realize that fact, just like we realize the truth about Big Tobacco's deceptive advertising and marketing practices and the fact that nicotine was and is addictive. I am urging the DOL to look into the dubious sales and marketing practices of these complex proprietary FIAs and determine for itself if these truly are securities that are being sold without proper securities registration under the cover of a fixed annuity just to circumvent and avoid registration with the SEC and FINRA. In closing, you can see why the fiduciary rule with the appropriate checks and balances is a win-win-win proposition that can benefit the consumer, advisor, and financial institutions. The need for one consistent fiduciary standard, whether it be from the DOL or SEC or both, is crucial to avoid a Bernie Madoff type outcome for hardworking American consumers and retirees. I can assure you that we won't have to watch the potential derailed retirements for American consumers on the CNBC show American Greed. Anil Vazirani. Retire and stay retired safe, smart, and secure. Visit our website at dreamretire.com.